Yo, what's up, YouTube? So we're checking out some Bill Burr today. Oh, we're on this special, man. We are knocking this thing out. I want to show you guys something. This is the reason that I edit the videos in and out, guys. So sorry I have to cut the videos and put my face in and bring it out and all that stuff. I did that on the last one, man. We got monetization on. The one before, I didn't do it, and it was ineligible, right? So this video is completely copyright striked. And then we have some more Bill Burr copyright strike down here. But guys, then we did the whole entire Dave Chappelle special. Guess what? No copyright. So I don't really know why there's so many inconsistencies with copyright. At the end of the day, it's not really about the money. It's not really about trying to get every dollar for every video. It's not about that, man. It's about the fact that if I put too many things on the channel that have that little red thing on it, bro, they're gonna eventually strike my channel. It's just gonna be completely gone one day. I'm gonna wake up and I'm not gonna have a channel. So we that's why I'm doing it, that. man. I'm just trying not to let a bunch of these red things pile up because- They're you know, no good. I might do it for a year and then I'm gonna wake up and my channel's gonna be gone. So a lot of people said that that's happened to a lot of their favorite creators. So we're trying to learn from some of the greats, man, and not make the same mistakes. But guys, this is why I do this. Bill Burr, let's go. Loving this special so far, guys. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, man. Let us know. Let me know in the comment section up until this point if you've been following along. What is the funniest joke that Bill Burr's told? Because I have my personal favorite so far, but I'm, I think I'm going to save it till after the special. Yeah, I'm going to save it so I can see if mine is better. Let's go. No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that to, eh, hey, fuck it, say it, see what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, this the, the, the evil that just, just opens up, it's just, you know. <laughs> I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking just keep coming at you. Right? I think I know this is your favorite one. You got to feel it, man. Every single day, hey, honey, you want to do shit? And you literally, you know? Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, it's just eroding a little more your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know, every day, just... <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out! <laughs> so one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. <laughs> waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? You know who that reminds me of Amber, so bad? Amber and Man, Austin. my sister, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't gonna get into it on YouTube, but <laughs> this man enjoys the fine things in life, man. Nothing bad, nothing toxic at all. A few Pokemon cards. Bro, she, he, he likes to collect Pokemon cards, man. <laughs> Bless him. She does not like it, and she... <laughs> Whatever he said, but I, there's a little there's a little brook in there too. Uh, Waking up relentless. We was just talking about that today. Well, yeah, we? we were. I love you, sweet girl. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Hey, honey, how you doing? Oh, but one thing I will say though, man, he said it in the beginning, guys. I'm so sorry. I know I talked too much. He did say when you're single, you're like, oh, screw it, just say it. I will say there's a lot of dumb stuff I'd probably say that you keep me from saying. So thank you. I really appreciate that. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl. You know, it's what I am. You know, I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to. Pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, hey, we get a picnic. We have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you. <laughs> then other days you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter, something for them to bounce off. Like, hey, and you, just, and you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Gang, 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 gang. <laughs> see my parents. <laughs> no, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's I no feel like you used to date this stuff. dude. <laughs> you know why? Because you can't hit them. <laughs> That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a... How much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? <laughs> Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. <laughs> See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, I go to the fucking gym, slap the broke <laughs> shake out of me, hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face, totally accepted, right? <laughs> well, with women, there's no line. They just keep coming at you. <laughs> Dude, they can do 
stuff worthy of my concern. <laughs> Why are you dying so hard? <laughs> is it too relatable? This is so relatable to me. Oh my god. Today we woke up and all of a sudden I gotta build a fort. <laughs> my, and now my kid has to have a fort in the woods and ain't even my property. That's stop what I'm it. trying to tell him. <laughs> stop. We uh, need a fort. <laughs> and they'll just stand right next to it. Back it up. No line. They can just keep fucking just keep coming at you. <laughs> Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They'll like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. <laughs> I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name, Susan did this shit! <laughs> You're sitting like, now, can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... <laughs> now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. <laughs> just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> No, I know, yeah, I know, it hurts, you know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. <laughs> it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed, but at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> when I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? <laughs> you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. This guy's an asshole. You I learn. He's just gonna say this kind of thing. <laughs> Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, you want to hear this story? This is a great one. Oh, no. how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she's still blasting me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. Okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday, <laughs> let's fucking keep it nice, you know? <laughs> let's keep it nice, right? And I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? <laughs> I was doing the rope dope I was leaning back, I was pulling her head in, I was leaning on her, oh talking God, shit, we... trying to tire her out, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden she just went up top, fucking wham, it hit me right in the side of the head. <laughs> You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back like, like maybe something was going to happen. She knew nothing was going to happen. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face. Pointing. Oh, it was brutal. Tapping the canvas. And she started like breaking up some stuff. You know, of course, it was all my stuff. And I'm just standing there. Okay, don't look her in the eye. Stand as still as you can. Let her calm down. Oh, that's great. That's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny. If I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back. But evidently you have a vagina. So that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. It's, it's got to be me. It does. You know, I get into too many arguments. I do. I got in an argument with this girl the other day. You ever meet somebody, like, within the first couple of minutes of meeting them, they, they feel like they can, like, sum you up? Just like, you know what your problem is? <laughs> <laughs> and you just have this unbelievable urge like to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating, you know? And really hold it there for a second, you know? <laughs> like, feel the panic in the back of their head as, like, the air bubbles become, like, less and less frequent, you know? <laughs> you ever have, like, weird thoughts like that? Like, Never random visual. violent thoughts, you know? <laughs> Like, I actually had the urge to elbow an old lady in the face the other day. Oh. <laughs> no, sir. No, it's not real. I swear to God, man, I, I, was going, I was going to get off a plane, right? You know the rules. When you go to get off the plane, it goes row by row by row, right? And this lady's all like, ooh, I'm 90. I get to cut everybody, right? She starts <laughs> waddling around me, you know? I'm competitive. I start boxing her out. I'm right? competitive. <laughs> so I pick it down my luggage. I swear to God, I did this. I'm literally taking up the whole aisle. And all of a sudden, wow, I just go around him. She just starts waddling all around me. And then I just feel my elbow. Like, dude, you take this shit, man, come on. Dude, you got a wide open shot. You know, just give her a quick one. She's not even going to feel it. She's going to go down. Then you can play it off like, oh, is she with you? Hey, did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do it, man. I got, I got my body under control. Like, come on, man, we can't do this shit. This is wrong. And I thought I was in control. And then she got like right about there. Then I felt her, my, like, my foot going, dude, we can still trip her. We still trip her. <laughs> just throwing that out there. All the time, I do. I didn't do it. <laughs> so I just went, oh, I didn't, I didn't. It just, I thought you never think it. shit like that? You never just walk down the street, see somebody up on a ladder, you just want to go over and just, to, just shake it, you know, just to do it. 
<laughs> you see people like maybe in a video game <laughs> you know sidewalk cafe having a good time like, yeah. <laughs> 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 he's yeah. just angry as hell <laughs> that's all I'm saying it was just it was one of one of those moments this girl was annoying me she was eating something and I was envisioning plunging her face right into it <laughs> all right this is basically what happened okay she tried to say i was homophobic i think she's full of shit and this is the story all right <laughs> we were in a diner right we just got done eating okay came out i was looking down at the ground and when i looked up there was like these two dudes like hardcore making out you know and it's like i wasn't fucking ready you know what i mean <laughs> was there ready? I, so it was all it was i wasn't ready it's like you know if you were in a broke back mountain or I'm walking through the village, I can get my brain prepared for what I might see, but it's like I wasn't fucking ready, you know? I just eating these fries, my God, you dumb shit, you gotta go to the gym, you know? It's in my own head. And when I looked up, these two dudes, one guy had a beard, there's, ah, just going at it. <laughs> so the second I looked up, I just went like, ugh. I just looked away. That's all I did, real quick, ugh. And I just, <laughs> that's all I did. And then this girl was just glaring at me, like, oh my God, what's, what's that all about? What's that? Were you like homophobic? Are you homophobic? I go, no, I'm not homophobic. I got no hatred, you know. I got no hatred in, in that area. She goes, well, what the hell about? I go, I, I don't, it, was, it was just like a visual thing. It was just, you know. <laughs> just, what are you talking about? I go, well, put it this way. The first time I ever saw a porno, I was like 14 years old. I had no idea what doggy style was, but the second I saw it, my brain was just like, that is the shit. I want to fucking do that. I'm going in my life. I want to convince a woman to do that with me. Right? My brain was like, yes. My dick was up. Everything was in agreement. <laughs> That this was a wonderful thing, and I had no idea what it was. <laughs> but in the same token, if at any point during that porno, if somebody started like kissing somebody's feet or like sucking on their toes, it was just, it was just gross to me. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I hate feet and I don't want them in my neighborhood. <laughs> that just means I'm not into that shit. <laughs> it's the same thing with the gay dudes. I have no hatred in my heart for gay people, all right? They're cool, they're funny, generally speaking, they're neat, you know? <laughs> they got are, a lot they of really are. things to say about them, you know? They move to your neighborhood, the property value goes up because they make it fabulous, right? <laughs> they can't reproduce, so they're not making more in the way people walking around looking up at shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're wonderful for the environment, God bless them. But how far does political correctness go that I gotta look at some shit that's making my brain go like, ah, fucking look away, right? I'm supposed to override that, start like cheering on the relationship, like, woo, grab the ass! Yeah, run your fingers through its chest hair! <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. You're gonna tell me some gay guy never walked down the street, seen two straight, pe straight people just going at it? And never just thought like, oh God, why would you? I just, Ugh. That's all right. I mean, <laughs> he can't help it. That's just how his brain is wired, right? He's just like pussy, Ugh. and I'm like dick, Ugh. right? <laughs> but there's no hatred in that. <laughs> I just couldn't fucking explain it to this girl. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I think you're homophobic. It's like, no, I'm so it was on the same level. You ever see a big guy eating a sandwich and he gets a little mustard on the side of his face, right? You fucking look away. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you want him to choke on the sandwich. You want to get a bunch of friends to beat the shit out and breathe the sandwich, right? <laughs> Dude, whatever you put your mouth on is the most intimate thing ever, right? There's no middle ground. It's either like, yes or fuck that. There's no middle, hey, you know, balls, right? <laughs> You this just, you just right insert now. yourself into the situation. Like when you watch a porno, there's, there's a guy and a, and a girl, but you're not looking at the guy. Even though he's right there, you're just looking at the girl and you're just thinking, yeah, that's what I would be doing to her, right? <laughs> but if you took the girl out and there was just some guy just sitting there just drying up, you, you'd be like, this shit is horrific, right? <laughs> so when I'm looking at two dudes kissing, it's like a stalemate. There's no place for me to insert myself into that situation <laughs> that isn't horrific, right? <laughs> Does that mean I'm fucked up, you know? <laughs> I love about that joke, you guys got it after like the first example, yet I felt the need to give you 58 more. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if that's the end of that epic rant, but my man just went in for like at least at least 15 minutes, I, I swear. So uh, I'm gonna end it there. What do I even say about that, man? Jeez. I felt like in the beginning, Bill was was speaking to my life. <laughs> I love you, baby. You're a sweet girl, but you you woke up today and decided I had to build a fort. I uh, chose I did. And we got a grill today. <laughs> yeah, and we <laughs> impulsively went and got a grill. Which by the way, 
I went up there to Walmart and I got that bad boy, that, uh, what's it called, Blackstone? Man, I got me one of them Blackstones, one of those like $350 Blackstones. I got it for 100 off. Your boy did that. <laughs> I negotiated, found a little number. I said, price match? Oh, for real? Y'all got that? The lady wasn't trying to give it to me, was she? No, I said, I, well, she was trying to, she was trying to bargain. We need to check some bit. serial numbers, basically. And then once I saw the right serial number, she tried to tell me that wasn't the right one in a sense. She was like, well, I don't know. I was like, no, nah, that's the right one. Let's go. And I was no, basically he celebrating it. it. He got it. Anyways, man. Uh, Back one, secured. <laughs> this dude's going in right now. Like, I, I genuinely watching this man, I feel pain in my head. I, I was, I was getting a headache. Yeah, like, he we just got hilarious. done watching like two hours worth of movies and stuff for our other channel. Go check it out. But that Bill light's Burr's been on for a minute, and that was just what I needed to make sure I get a splitting headache for the night. So, <laughs> perfect way to end the night. Felt like he was speaking to my life. And then another thing, babe, I do want to point out. So far, all these comedians have been dudes. Our audience is mainly dudes, like ninety nine percent. And you have been a very, very, very awesome partner. And you take all this, all these jokes. And behind the scenes, man, she never gets mad. She's the coolest girlfriend in the history of the world. What Thank these you for jokes? Being so, well, they're all anti-women, and I mean, they're not anti-women. Don't you know, I'm not saying they're anti-women, but they're all subjugated around women. Yeah, but they're like funnily true. Yeah, they're funnily Hilariously true. Hilariously true. That's what makes comedy funny. In a way, right? yeah. Right. Uh, so love you for that for sure. <laughs> I mean, you could be like. <sighs> You know, you could choose a whole different approach for sure, but you don't. I so I love you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one because we got to finish this special. <laughs> <laughs>